there, future entrepreneurs, and welcome to Absolute Accountant. Today we are diving into this exciting and empowering topic, how to start a business. Whether you're a budding entrepreneur with a brilliant idea or someone simply curious about the world of business, this video will be your guide to taking those crucial first steps. So you're definitely going to want to grab a pen and paper and jot some things down as we embark on this entrepreneurial journey together. Okay, so step number one, what do you need first? First and foremost, you need one of two things. You either have to have a viable business idea or you need to have a passion or better yet, both. Think about the things that you're good at. Think about some of the things that you love. Your business idea really, really should align with your skills and your interests. This could be a service, this could be a product, could even be a combination of both. But remember that you have to have a passion because passion is what's going to keep you motivated during those really challenging times. So step number one, the most important thing, you got to have a viable business idea and a passion and best yet, combine those two where you have a passion and a viable business idea. After you have that idea, now it's time to do some research. So step number two, you got to do some research and some planning. You need to understand who your target audience is. You need to analyze your competitors that are in the market, and you need to identify what your unique selling proposition is. What makes you stand out from everybody else? What makes you different from your competitors? What makes your clients and your customers want to come to you? This is where a solid business plan is essential. This basically acts as your roadmap. What you're going to do now, how you're going to do it, who you're going to do it for, it checks all those boxes and answers all those questions. A business plan really will outline your business goals, your target markets, how you're going to make the money, how you're going to market, what are, your, what are those strategies. This really, really, really helps you be set up for success in the long run. The business, a business plan and a good business plan really sets a strong foundation for your business ahead. So I highly, highly, highly recommend that you take the time up front to do this in very important, very crucial step of researching and planning and putting together a business plan. Next up, let's talk about the legal aspects of things. You need to make sure that you're choosing a suitable business structure, whether it's a sole proprietorship, a partnership, an LLC, or a corporation. You need to understand the differences between those entity structures and which one is best suited for your needs and your business. After you know what type of entity structure that you want, you need to register your business and get all the necessary license and permits. Depending on your industry, you might need special licenses and special permits. So be sure that in step number two, while you're researching and planning, you know all the compliance uh, requirements that you need to have for your specific industry. And A, don't forget, one of the biggest things is taxes. Do not forget about your taxes. Familiarize yourself with your tax obligations depending on your industry. There's all different kinds of taxes that you need to be aware of. Make sure that you're doing, you're checking on income tax, sales tax, payroll taxes, covering all your bases and making sure that you get set up properly set up and are in compliance with all of your tax obligations. And this is where a reliable accounting system and a reliable organization system really come into play. This is essential for keeping your finances in order. Next, you have to identify your brand. Your brand is the identity of your business. This is how people know you. This is how people recognize you. You want to create something that is memorable. People aren't going to forget about it. It's efficient. It's effective. It's compelling. So you want to make sure that you create a business logo and design your website and establish any um, online social media presence that's very consistent and very in alignment with your unique brand. You want to use the same colors. You want to use the same fonts. You want to use the same tone. 
you want to make sure that on every piece of information about your business that's out there, whether it's printed, whether it's online, whether it's word of mouth, everything is speaking the same brand. So I tell you, but it's very crucial that you invest time up front in creating and crafting a really good brand because your brand is a direct reflection of your values, of your mission and your vision and what you want to bring to your target audience. And remember, consistency is is key here. You have to maintain brand cohesiveness across all so that you, your brand really stands out and becomes memorable and is imprinted on people's brains. All right. So after you've got your brand, now you need let's talk about the management of your finances. Because yes, I'm a CPA, so I am a rather bias, but managing your finances is absolutely crucial for the survival of your business. You must have your finances in order. You have to create a budget. You need to keep track of all of your in, uh, income and all of your expenses. You should be monitoring your cash flow on a regular basis. And because there's so much in the world of finance and accounting and tax, and it can be very overwhelming and very complex, I highly, highly, highly suggest that you seek professional advice from a trusted accountant or a financial advisor. And the number one rule to remember here when it comes to financial management is never mix personal with business. You always want to keep at a bare minimum a separate bank account for your business and a separate bank account for your personal and keep those two things separate. So if you do nothing else in tracking your finances, the number one thing you should do is have separate bank accounts because we don't ever want to mix personal and business. It's a nightmare and it can open you up to a world of legal risks. So number one thing to remember when it comes to tracking and managing your finances, keep them separate. Finally, after you've got um, your business plan, you've got your brand, you are got a way to manage all your finances, now you're ready to just get out there and promote. So you want to market yourself and promote yourself. Marketing is how you will attract customers and clients to your business. You want to make sure, again, that you are um, asking trusted professionals, getting advice and opinion on how to develop a really good marketing strategy that includes all types of platforms. So it's going to include both online and offline methods. We are in the digital age, so there is a lot of stuff on social media and a lot of stuff online, but we can't forget that there's always humans and there's the human experience. So we also want to have something tangible and offline that can be offered um, to really market and promote yourself. So when it comes to marketing, think of how you're going to do that. What kind of strategies are you going to use? What are going to be the most cost effective? What are going to give you the best return for your money? And you want to make sure that you're incorporating both online and offline methods. So using things like social media and email marketing, which is great in our digital age. Other things are networking and collaborations with uh, entrepreneurial groups in your community, getting FaceTime in front of people. Because remember, effective marketing is just about solving your customers' problems and fulfilling their needs. So how can you get your message out about the, sol the problem that you're solving for your customers? All right, so there you have it, future entrepreneurs, how to start a business. Step number one, make sure you have a viable business plan and that you're a viable business idea and that you're passionate about that. Number two, research that idea and plan, plan, plan. Then number three, pick your, le your legal structure and get all of the formalities out of the way. Number four, really build your brand and be consistent in your brand, your logo, your name, your tagline, whatever. And number five, manage your finances, get something in order. A simple spreadsheet or simply just having a separate business banking account will suffice for now. And finally, number six, you want to market and promote yourself. So starting a business might seem a little daunting, but 
with the right passion and dedication, the right knowledge, and the right professional advice, you definitely can turn your dreams into a successful venture. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe for more inspiring content. Remember, every big business starts with a small idea and a courageous individual. Believe in yourself, take the plunge, and who knows, your business might just be the next big thing. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay curious.